Hi, welcome back to Raft Chapter 2. It's been a while, but finally Raft has released a whole new update to the game. Adding new places, new machines, and even new mobs. There's literally robots in suits. Robots in suits. Stop the cap. <laughs> If you're new to my channel or never heard of Raft, it's basically you surviving in the middle of the ocean, putting planks together to build the biggest and best raft, all while a shark is trying to eat your toes. As you guys know, I played it for 24 hours straight, continuing off where I left last time. So if you haven't seen the first Raft 24 hours, I suggest seeing that. But if not, here's a little bit of a recap. I spawn, I scavenge, shark attack, I build, I travel, I research, I kill, I scavenge more, I upgrade, shark break Blaz's chair, we eat shark, I navigate, I find yacht, Ratatouille fights back, I find more research, I travel more, I find animal, animal fight back, I make engines, I find big island, bear angry, bear dead, I find new courts, and now you're caught up, we got the new coordinates, and it's now time to go to a new area, if you're part of the percentage that's not subscribed, subscribe right now, I only upload coordinates, Quality content. Welcome back to my rap that I played on for 24 hours and now we're gonna do 24 more hours. This time will be different because Blaz is gonna be joining me the entire time. And we're gonna start off by going to the new area called Cavern Town. Blaz, uh, put seven. in the codes. We're going there. There it is. It's like 2,000 it? meters away. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. We were looking if there was any new things to craft, but it looks like all the chapter two stuff, you have to go and find their blueprints in the new island. But the sprinklers here. Do you want a sprinkler, Blaz? I would love one single sprinkler, yes please. We didn't craft that sprinkler, but we did start moving to the new island and just collected all our resources. And a whole night later, we actually found it. See something. I see something. It's massive. Oh my God. Blaza, that's not how a battle works. <laughs> You're going, getting so close. We planned a good parking space, got ourselves ready, and it was time to explore this new town. First thing I found was a battery charger part, so that meant there was going to be other parts laying around. We already found another part, but it was stuck in this well. It was part of some sort of puzzle, but it didn't take us long to figure that out. Wait, What's now, this? First of all, I found this soup. A soup? Still oh. hot. <laughs> still hot? You just found a <laughs> random soup? Still hot, okay. And then I saw this thing and it says R2. It said R to rotate smoothly, so that meant it was part of a puzzle. At the top of the pipes was this pump and when you use it, water goes through. And that's when the puzzle clicked. All we had to do was connect all the pipes to line up with each other so the water could go all the way down. We keep on doing it, keep on doing it until it raises all the way. Yeah, keep on doing it. It's a zip line! It's a zip line! Zip line part. Zip line part. That's so pretty good. We were excited that we could unlock the zip line here, but but that was only one of three parts, so that meant we still had a lot more searching to do. It was getting dark though, so we called it quits till the next day. How much soup does the man have? How is it still hot from yesterday? You want my soup? <laughs> soup. Yeah, this is what I think about Stop. your soup. Don't, don't, don't fire my soup! I had no idea how Blaza still had the soup and it was still hot even after a couple days. But we kept on exploring the new area and honestly, this place was massive. We found a lot of loot and then we found something even better. We have found the jackpot! Oh my god, where is it? It's right here! It's right here! It's a big beach! <laughs> but eventually, we came across something that looked like another puzzle. It was just a pipe leading all the way underwater. So we started following it. Oh my god, it goes even deeper! We followed the pipes all the way down and to be frank, it was quite scary. Finally, we came across the final box and it seems to have some blueprints. I grabbed myself an infirmary key and just when I was about to grab a blueprint, a puffer fish came out of nowhere. I screamed so loud that it's only static in my recording audio. Wow. Oh, I stopped at one health. Somehow we survived with one health. So we were able to go back and grab the blueprint for a metal detector. We checked if there was anything else around, but honestly, it was just darkness. Our luck did not hold up though because on our way up, another puffer fish found its way in. But this time, he finished the job. We lost everything, but it's okay. I had enough materials in my chest to remake mostly everything. There was still one part of the island we haven't checked out yet. There's where the pigs are. There's 50 of them. 50. Oh, there's three. I see three, but it's basically 50. But before we went over, something caught our eye like some sort of rocket ship, right? One explosive power. Oh, it is a spaceship. Oh. It's a freaking rocket. Where is it going? Where is it? Oh, oh what? It exploded. What have you done? I didn't think that was what is there? Some... What is that? Oh, wait. That it's was part of the down. plan. Who is that? that? Go there now. Land, Go there now. Also. Go there now. Oh my god. There's a little tiny robot. Are you serious? Oh my oh, god. A look little tiny it. robot. <laughs> look at oh. his face. Look at the back. Look at his, what it's on his back. It's a battery. It says pick up zip line part. Oh, this is the last zip line part. We got it. And we can pick this man. guy up. <laughs> we can now research <laughs> fireworks. Oh, oh wow. I didn't even... That was actually the final zip line part. So that means we unlocked the zip line. So you can use this? Yeah. Get over uh, here. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm oh, back. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> 
I'm okay. Now that we have the zip line, it was time to check out the new pig monster. Let's just take out our machetes and, you know, go say hi. Oh, you shark chick. That is not a friendly pig. Beat him up. Oh, he's already dead. Go. This so-called mud hog was definitely scary, but it was just way weaker than the boar. It only took a couple hits. Right next door was some sort of medical bay, and we got a new item called healing self. That being said, we found everything that we needed to on this island except for the new coat so we could go to another new place. But Blaza did find it. Look what I found. Did you get the numbers? I got a major head. <laughs> I am the leader now. I am the captain now. Oh, I am on my knees. What is that? Pick up note. Wait. Don't tell me that's the note to the new area. It is! Yes! We got it! Just like that, in a couple hours, we found everything on the island, except for all the battery charger parts, but we completely forgot about that. Before we started moving again, we crafted our first zip line. They sucked. What? Zip line time! You already made it! Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, well, this is awkward. And we took it a step further. Let's make the metal detector as well. How do I look? Beep, beep, beep. And we just had to try it out now, right? I got 10 bars. What? Where? You start shoveling at the location where you get 10 bars. And we actually got some pretty good stuff, including some metal. Since we were already here, we decided why not just catch an animal? I made this one by one grass ply on my last episode, but I never caught an actual chicken. So this is going to be my first time. Even though I had three shots, I was still scared because this chicken moves around so fast. Yes! And we decided to call him dinner because we thought it was funny. Look how happy he is already. The problem though, it was only one grass plot, so it was really annoying constantly watering it. Don't hold him like that. Why are you holding him okay. like that? I'm just asking him if he's okay. It was finally time to start moving away from the island and get more resources. We hit every island because now you can use the metal detector to get even more goods. And we even got a new ore called titanium, which is great because you need it for all the more advanced stuff. Getting all the other resources at this point was really easy. I mean, we had a whole chest just filled with leaves. And that's when we saw it. The new island. This place was insane. It was like a giant dome. I can't get over how crazy this thing was. I didn't even know where to park. We went towards this big door, but turns out that's actually how you leave the dome. We did find the entrance right around the corner, though, but we didn't go in yet because we had to stock up in food, water, and everything. So yeah, we cooked up a lot of these catfishes, and I can't get over how stupid Blaza looks with it. And we went slowly insane while we waited for everything to cook. In me right round, baby. Right round. But we were now ready to go explore this new area. Hey. 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 Hey, where are you? What? Take a bite. Blaza was still crazy. I noticed that we were in the dome, but actually in an underground area. So I was assuming that there's going to be some puzzles coming up. Oh my god. This is deep. Ah! Okay, I'm good. What was that? Oh! The giant rat. Die. Ow. Oh my Die. god. Die. This one's dead. Die. Stop. Why is he not attacking oh. you? There you go. We were just making our way through this dark and gloomy area, getting attacked by rats constantly. They <gasps> There's a rat ah! here! We finally found something interesting that said generator, and it was asking for generator parts, which we had because we were picking them up on our way here. We fixed the generator! What does it do? It's gonna explode? What it did was turn on some lights and show what our next puzzle is, and this one was kind of complicated. It was a giant claw machine, and your objective was to line up the crate so you can make it to the door on the other side. On top of some of the crates, there's a line and that shows the direction you can move inside the crates and now we can walk through e? whoa okay we had the first three crates lined up good now we just had to line up the rest of them so we could walk all the way to the green door blaza really wanted to do it so i just left him do the entire thing and he did it and now we were able to make our way all the way to the other side and there was a new entrance waiting for us and we thought we made it because this next area said surface access so we thought we made it but then water came surging down out of it what are you doing i don't wait water's coming down <laughs> oh, that wasn't part of oh, the plan oh we're filling it up the door open. The door open. Go, quick, go, quick, go, quick. go, 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 Storage area. Storage yes, area. Yes, here, 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 here. There's air. Here, here. There's air. Oh my god. He somehow survived and Blaza still had his hot soup. Oh my god. You want some soup? How do you have hot soup? <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, shut up. I'm just eating my own soup. We were able to find a way out though, but it led to another very dangerous area. Someone dropped the toaster in the water. So now we had to avoid the water by jumping from garden bed to garden bed. We also found a new type of tree, a banana tree. That's bananas, man. We also found a lot of flex tape, which is good because that's actually how we get out of here. We used that tape to fix one of these generators, which opened another door to more electrical water. But this was it. These garden beds led to the surface access. The only problem now is that Blaza was dehydrated and I was out of water so we were just walking really slowly there but we actually made it we made it to the surface and this place looked amazing on top of it I finally get to meet the robots in suits I'm gonna go talk to the robot hi ah they're not friendly I repeat the robots are not friendly my whole day is ruined we had to focus on escaping now because Blazo's dehydrated but turns out these giant doors actually open and they turn into a slip and slide baby slide we went back to our raft and recovered all our food and water to get ready for another trip what is really nice we can just walk back up on the slide the first thing we did was beat up the robots because they're mean I got a key card from him every time you take out a robot they drop a key card and we would be using that to open some of these apartment buildings and sadly you can't ride the golf carts but i think you should be able to the key card doesn't work for this main door though it says it's locked from behind so i'm assuming that's what the puzzle is you can buy a piano with coins what eight golden coins and turns out you can actually buy things here like a piano for coins but we didn't have any coins yet so we decided to open one of these apartments and start searching and there was an elevator Seen any cool movies lately it wasn't even an apartment it was a work area <laughs> Oh, oh, they're right here. There was a lot of good loot around like shears. I found one golden coin. Are you serious? And even our first golden coin. There was even a secret doorway, but it was covered in flex tape, which we couldn't cut down because you needed a machete for it, which we didn't have. However, we are able to buy one now with golden coins because of the shop. You don't need a lifeguard for your <laughs> bath, your beach. <laughs> Is that a beach? It's a bathtub. There's not much more to say. We just went building to building, which all had an elevator that went into more and more rooms. We were messing around more than actual focusing. Hello. <gasps> Eventually, we got enough golden coins in order to buy the machete, which was five golden coins. It comes in a oh. Christmas present. And then Blaza logged off with the machete because he had to go to the gym. So that meant I had to get three more coins, which wasn't really a problem because there were still many buildings we haven't explored yet. But I got all the coins that I needed and I got the weapon. And now that I had the machete, that meant I could go in some of these secret areas with the tape. I didn't find any new secrets, but there was definitely really good loot like titanium. I was also thinking, how do I get to the main building? And I saw that there was a zip line from one of the apartment buildings all the way to the main tower. And I went to the bottom of that building, there was a sign on it saying notice the key card reader is out of order please use the elevator in the plantation area and guess where the plantation area is it's where the electric water is down back underground so i went back to my raft because i was out of food and water did i mention i made a cooking pot where you can actually make like soup recipes and stuff instead of following one of the recipes i just put four fishes together in order to make mega fish it didn't work though so i was severely disappointed nonetheless i went back onto the island and it was time to go into the plantation turns out there was another closed door here I just had to fix up the voltage switch wherever it was. Turns out I was right around the corner and I used tape to fix it, which I had plenty of. And through that door was another generator that I also had to fix and that turned off all the electricity in the water. That allowed me to go to an area what had a blueprint for an electric purifier. And more importantly, it allowed me to go to the elevator in the plantation. I took the elevator all the way to the top and it took me to some sort of birthday party. There was presents, cakes, everything, and even a whole bunch of golden coins. When I made it to the top, there was a cracked window with a zip line coming out of it and guess where that zip line goes all the way to the main tower i found this really funny when i got inside this tower guess what was inside of it another elevator at the top there was a lot of stuff and even a blueprint for a large storage and to my right there was something called emergency bridge launch whatever that means my chat was spamming the code like 500 times and i really wanted to see what this did so oh something started moving the whole building was shaking i was gonna explode what when I checked outside, there was smoke in the distance and it looks like the whole top half of this building just blew off. I literally just walked on top of the dome to go towards the explosion. There was a building just floating in the middle of the water. Yup, there's definitely gonna be another blueprint in here. I got a lot of good loot and look at that, a blueprint for a water tank. And there was even the code for the next island, but sadly that's not out yet. But the adventure was nowhere near over because we had 19 hours left, we had all these new things to make, and Blaza was back. The first thing I did with Blaza was 
buy a piano because it was a uh, actual piano in raft But when we went back to our raft, we noticed that our chicken dinner was dead <gasps> No, <laughs> dead. We held a memorial in front of the ship by putting his name tag in one of these storage boxes So what now we haven't placed the piano down is because we don't actually have enough space on the raft All we needed was a lot more planks Which was no problem because this whole place has like a hundred trees and with those planks We extended our raft and Blaza was already playing the piano the next Beethoven in his prime. Oh, but turns out this piano is pretty cool. You can play any note you want to. Meanwhile, I did have two friends join, but honestly, they didn't do anything except for messing around. The first new thing I built on my raft was this electric purifier because we had enough titanium. And this turns out to be the most helpful thing we've ever made. It's a vacuum cleaner. It's literally a vacuum cleaner that turns salt water into fresh water using a battery. The thing that surprised me the most is actually how fast this was. After a couple seconds, it was already filled and it fills up my water bottle in like two seconds. While I was doing that, my friends really wanted to start making a big zipline tower. So they started building a platform really far away. And to make a zipline tower, you need a lot of wood, but that isn't a problem because this whole new island is just full of trees. So project build a 5G tower has began. Within a couple moments, they already built this tall, tall tower while I made a sprinkler, which no one seemed to care about. I couldn't use the sprinkler yet because I needed to link it up with water tubes and it needs a constant source of batteries. But who care about that now when we have built the 5g tower Whoa! the tower building didn't stop there because my friend kate started building another tower and a stairway to heaven to it this made our raft so heavy that we actually had to paddle to each island because we didn't have enough engine power to move our raft and for more engines that means i needed to get a lot more metal the metal detector usually helps as well but this time i found this weird mass that i guess looks cool and by the time i got back we had two 5g towers connected to each other i'm not gonna lie it is pretty fun eventually we made our way back to caravan island because it turns out we were missing one of the battery charger parts so we could have the battery charger the evil bird was already giving us a warm welcome it's coming hey, it's it's no it's right there no no it's no. targeting you no we searched the island again and we found the part we needed battery charge part yes let's go now that we had all the battery charger parts that means we could actually make the actual battery charger which is amazing because it charges two batteries at a time but the problem is that it works on biofuel which we only have a little bit of where do you get biofuel you must be asking from this machine over here but how does it make biofuel well you actually need honeycombs which we only have a little of as well so in a straight answer we need a bumblebee farm in order to make all this automatic and as you can see Kate finished the stairway to heaven. I don't know if I mentioned, but we did get another chicken and we named it breakfast. Nonetheless, we are in Operation Get Bees now, and the best location to get bees is actually Bear Island. I had to cook up a lot of metal because we had to make more engines because now our raft is like 5,000 pounds. We made it across the ocean, but we came here not only to catch the bees, but we also came here to take out Mama Bear. If you don't know, Mama Bear is basically the biggest and baddest boss in raft and basically unkillable if you're not prepared. Not to mention the bears are tough as well. Bear! Oh! Bear. But as an experienced raft player, normal bears were no longer a problem. I wanted to fight the big mama. We also found a whole bunch of bees, which was great because we caught them all. But most importantly, it was time to fight mama bear, who was still eating berries from my last 24 hours. Knowing how strong she was, I knew I was just gonna stay at a safe distance and watch all my friends die. Oh! Ow! She oh. half my HP. That's mama bear for I you. I died, I died, I died. I got that way. Run! Yeah. You brought her this way. I'm going back in for war. I'm dead. <laughs> hey, I got you. Medic. We lost many soldiers that day, but at least we got to resurrect everybody. I guess that's what we get for using stone arrows against Mama Bear instead of metal, but I used all the metals on our engines. But who cares? We're going in for another round, and we're hoping Mama Bear doesn't regen that health over time. This time, I was much more up and personal, and I was the one dodging the hits and stuff. But eventually, we got through, and we took in down Mama Bear. We did it! We did it! We did it! This was a great achievement, and we even got the Mama Bear Head, which was so much bigger than the other bears. I went to quickly go grab my food, and in those couple minutes, my friends actually went insane. Want to kiss? Mayo gang yeah, for the win. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? We're having fun. <laughs> On our way back, Blaza brought another animal, but this time it was a goat. I failed to mention that chickens lay the eggs, and the goats, when you take a bucket next to them, you get a bucket of milk. Can I drink it? I can. Drink it. Drink it. 
What the? There goes our milk. This made me realize that we really need a bigger area for our animals because all our previous animals have died. Having the area two by two really made things easier, but this just showed we really needed to set up some sort of sprinkler. But before we could do that, we got to redesign the entire raft because right now we have a stairway to heaven that is so heavy that we can barely move the raft. We took the entire thing down. This is a very sad moment. While taking it down, somehow we managed to have a piece of plank not connected to the rest of a raft, yet at the the same time it is connected and honestly we just kept it part of the design because my idea was to turn this raft into an epic looking yacht it's gonna be super efficient multiple levels have the navigation stuff in the front while all the engines are in the back and while I was doing all of that Blaza set up the bee farm by putting flowers in the shoes and the bees actually using that in order to make honeycombs I kept on redesigning the raft put all our fun cosmetics in the front and you can kind of see where I'm going with this all the stuff that we use all the time is here on the bottom floor in an open easy to use area while the actual navigation stuff is here on the second floor and the engines are in the back. We wanted to take it even a step further by adding a third floor so it looks even cooler. I mean just look how cool it is from navigating all the way up here. We made another stop to Bear Island because we really still needed to get more and more bees because biofuel is still really expensive. But I think it was finally time to start setting up that sprinkler and putting it in action because we had almost nine grass plots now. But in order to hook up the sprinkler to a water pump you need a lot of pipes that cost scrap which we didn't have much. So instead I I was messing around with paint. I mean, I messed around with paint as I waited for our raft to collect more and more scrap. But finally, I had enough scrap to make a couple water pipes so I could hook up the sprinkler to an electric purifier. And bada beam, bada boom, the sprinkler is all set up. As long as there is a battery in the sprinkler, it should automatically water the grass so the animals can keep on eating. I didn't get to see it live, but I just kept on extending that second floor so it's even bigger. Everything else is working pretty well because we have these two biofuel makers and we have all this honey so we can just keep on on making biofuel and that allows me to keep recharging batteries so everything was just working i decided for fun to make a huge bee farm because i collected so many beets this entire 24 hours i just wanted to get infinite amount of them. and i can set it automatically as you can see the sprinklers actually watering them as i'm planting them in you don't even want to know how many beets i had at the end of this stream i mean just look how many leaves we have in this huge chest over here we almost had an entire second floor by now and while i was doing all of this blaza did rebuild one of the 5g towers. With only a couple of hours remaining, we were almost complete with the perfect raft. I mean, look how many beets I have. This is just stupid. And both the grass plots and the radish farm were working off with the sprinklers, and it worked great. The next step was getting infinite biofuel by having, like, a lot of bee farms and even a fuel tank back there, so we would just have infinite fuel for our engine. Because if you don't know, engines actually work off planks, but you can actually change that to biofuel, which is much more efficient. It was hard to set up with the pipes, though, because we were low on scrap, even though we had little literally everything else that you wanted. In the meantime, I just started making the bottom floor look nicer by putting Mama Bear's head right in the middle and all these cool stuff like torches and paintings. Oh, and we built the 5G tower all the way to sky limit and it looks pretty funny. <laughs> Adding a zip line to it was even crazier and at the same time, it was also scary. At this point of the game, I really didn't feel like doing anything else. So I just put in the rest of the decoration heads and then I tried to paint my rainbow sock all over the raft, but honestly, we had nowhere near enough color to do that. Instead, we finished off the stream of Blaza jumping down the 5G tower with his wife and we were just celebrating on how cool our raft looked. We crafted up some fireworks to celebrate our victory, but we just shot them in the sun and we didn't even see the fireworks. Thank you guys so much for watching my 24 hour video. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe right now because if you subscribe, you'll earn yourself 10 golden stars.